So, I have terrible news. We were coming back from the ride in Kyoto. Was it Kyoto? Yeah, Kyoto. Kyoto. And uh, we were nearly home. Randy's following me on his motorcycle. And I felt this really big bump in the RV. I'm driving the RV. He's behind me in the motorcycle. And I really never want him to follow behind me. And I got a flat tire. It exploded. It exploded. And not only did it explode, he got hit behind me. He's bleeding a little bit. I think he's going to be okay. Um, we're shaking up. The under underneath the RV, ex something happened. It exploded. My floor actually got really damaged up underneath the RV. I don't know if you can see, but so it was the rear passenger um, inside tire. So now we're just waiting for someone to come and change the tire. Luckily, I had. Um, I have a spare, but um, it was a really scary situation because not only did the tire blow and go all over the road, it's a really big tire, um, but the of the RV up. it tore the bottom of the RV up <laughs> and Randy could have gotten really hurt. Luckily, we believe that God saved him. I was able to keep it under control. But, uh, all right, honey? Fine. He says he's fine. There's the, his motorcycle. We're in a parking lot in East Rochester right now, just waiting to be rescued. So he says, thank God that I, I'm okay. And I say, thank God he's okay. Um, we say, thank God I wasn't on a mountain by myself because it was a really bad blowout. And again, not just the tire, but all up inside oh, I don't even know what I'm going to do at this point so all of you guys that offered to help us um, I'm going to need your help now we need a sheet metal guy to, we need a sheet metal guy to fix the bottom of the aluminum panels underneath the, the aluminum panel. panels all blew out um, behind the tire behind the tire I'm supposed to go to help some veterans out in Buffalo on uh, Wednesday and I'm supposed to leave for my trip in Connecticut, Massachusetts in two weeks. So all you guys that said you need a, you want to come and help, this thing has been a nightmare for me. I don't feel safe. And uh, I need someone to come and look at it top to bottom. <clears throat> so it's pretty scary. I can't even, it's like, I'm sorry, I can't even stand still. I just I can't, I just can't believe this happened. Um, it's a pretty serious situation and uh, I hope everybody made it safe home from the ride today and I'm just so glad that um, he was behind me and if you saw the debris all over the road um, he's got debris all over him and uh, I would have I would have never forgiven myself if something happened to him and it was because of this RV that's just been a nightmare to me. He says he's okay and he was just worried about me, but I need someone to help me make sure this thing is safe for me and everybody on the road. So if anybody can help me, I really appreciate it. Thanks. God bless.